With the kind permission of my daughter, because of her, I mean, we would like to speak English in this Alam. Thank you very much. This afternoon, the Amir is here on a very peaceful mission. He is here with all the three of his deputies Deputy 1, Al Haj, Abdul Wahab, Isa. Deputy 2, Al Haj, Ahmed Suleiman Anderson. Deputy 3, Justice. Say Kukujan and the leadership of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Mission in the Ashanti region, including one of Nanes own, the Dida in it. Myself, I'm the General Secretary of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Mission, Abbas bin Said Wilson, and of course the Amir Al Haj or Ibn Mohammed bin Salih. Nana had taken Amir as his son. Grandson. Grandson. <laughs> and it is his responsibility that from time to time he checks on his grandfather to see that everything is well with him. Again, as the Amir of the mission, and knowing the relationship that has existed between the mission and this royal palace, it is also his responsibility to ensure that that relationship is also strengthened. It is for these reasons that we are here this afternoon. And as tradition demands, we are here with a few rings, a uh, very little token by way of tradition which we want to present to Nana. We are most grateful to His Highness for his time of accepting to receive here this afternoon, knowing that he's a very busy person in this country. Thank you very much. Your Royal Majesty and the elders. I extend to all of you the Islamic presentation of Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh, which is to say, may the peace, blessings, and mercy of the Almighty Allah be upon us all. Amen. Your Majesty, we've been following keenly your activities. And I'm proud to say that we are proud to be associated with you and to announce this privilege anywhere and wherever we find ourselves in the world. Only recently in May, Your Majesty delivered I talked to the whole of Ghana, which I refer to as another sermon on the mount. And uh, the, it was on the topic that we advance together as a people, one and the same people. It was thought provoking. Some friends of mine who happened to read it in other parts of the world kept calling me and commenting on it. Then came the other occasion when Your Majesty had an external, rather I should call it national platform, to give an expose of the history of Africa, the interaction between the African and then the, the black man and the white man, 
the extremes and the other intrigues and other things that took place which culminates in the history of Africa. This thought-provoking presentation of your majesty will go down in history and it has made every African apart from we the names and not just only Africans but to every black man and black woman proud of you and they see you as leader of the black race in today's world. I for one I feel very very proud therefore to have the little association that I have with you as a grandfather and you have since accepted me as such. Nana Otumfo, Your Majesty, you find us here this afternoon. We have a tree prone. We are here for three purposes. The major one is the fact that our supreme spiritual head, who we call the Khalifa Tulmasi, is scheduled to pay a visit to Ghana somewhere towards the end of February and into early part of March of next year. He has always expressed the wish, the desire to pay a courtesy call on you whenever he comes to Ghana. And having received this message, and in order for us to give him the feedback on expected activities in Ghana, it became very, very necessary that we meet you today and occupy a little bit of your time. And it is this that the Khalifa Tumasi, as we call him, His Holiness, certainly will want to come to you to pay his homage. And as such, we felt the need of coming to you to humbly request, to humbly request that the occasion of the coming of the Khalifa to Masi to Ghana, but particularly to the Asante Hene, will be an occasion on which all television stations throughout the world will focus their attention as a very special occasion because of your standing in society. And we as Ghanaians and as Africans too, we have a culture I remember your attend, you, you attending our international convention in London and uh, the African <coughs> culture that you portrayed there was very much welcome and it enlightened a lot of people who were gathered there because it's an international convention and people from all parts of the world attend. Prior to Your Majesty's attendance of that con convention, we used to have kings, they call them, ch or chiefs, from Benin, Nigeria, South Africa, and so on and so forth. But after Your Majesty's visit, people started looking for us, and most of them had to confess that it is now is the first time that they are meeting a real king from Africa. <laughs> we therefore humbly want to suggest that when our spiritual head comes, if your majesty could kind of do the whole of Africa the honor and the whole world an honor by receiving him in a in a form in a deva, the form of a deva, would you of course your sub chiefs, your elders and sub chiefs, 
and the people to represent the nation of Ashanti and Ghana for that matter. This is a very important request which has a place in our heart. We, the members of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, Ghana, and uh, we felt it necessary and important to come today to put this request before you. Fortunately for the Ahmadiyya Muslim community Ghana, your own grandson is their leader. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I have led them to you. <laughs> and I'm speaking for and on their behalf and presenting our humble request. Secondly, we've heard of the fund that you launched for renovation and upliftment of Kompo Anoche Hospital. And as a community, we felt obliged to do the little that we also can to appreciate the fact that we appreciate you, we are proud of you, and will always be available at any time you make a call, regardless, no matter what the call is. And uh, for that purpose, we also, we've come with our widow's mind, the check for 10,000 CDs to that effect. Thirdly, Your Majesty, and the final one, is a disturbing issue that has faced us here in Kumasi. It is this that we had our old mission house at Asafo, which is very old and dilapidated. So at a point, we decided to demolish it so that we can rather put on an ultra-modern building befitting the area and the buildings that have sprung around the place and also to serve our own purposes. Little did we, our indenture has not yet expired on the land. But little did we know that if you demolish a building completely and you are to erect a new one in its place, you will have to see the chief of the area and then you will have to pay money before permission can be granted you to go on to the way. We did not know this before demolishing the building. And after doing that, the chief of our area, is it the uh, Asafo Hene? He made us understand that we had to pay a certain amount, which is quite a hoping sum of money, around into millions. This obviously was outrageously above our threshold, our budgetary provisions can hardly ever support such an expenditure. So today, therefore, we decided to come, since I was already coming, Give you a taxi call primarily to inform you about the visit of His uh, Holiness and this humble request of ours. That is the purpose for which we come. But making use of the opportunity also to humbly appeal and humbly beg your, 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 your Majesty, Majesty <coughs> to intervene for and on our behalf so that a moderate amount, expecting us to pay as much as about two million plus, is mind-boggling and uh, disturbing when you come to think of the resources at uh, our disposal, added to which is the fact that an ultra-modern building too has to be put down. So if you find us here today, it is for this purpose that we have come. And I'm happy that we've come to meet you looking healthy. And it is our prayer, we'll continue praying that the Almighty Allah continues to give you long life, 
Amen. A long, healthy life of prosperity. Continue to add more and more to the wisdom which you already have so that you continue chopping the path and demonstrating leadership to our traditional leadership as well as our political leadership in this country and throughout Africa. We are certainly proud of you, Nana. We are very, very proud of you. And we are proud to mention where we find ourselves in the world that we are Ghanaians. And immediately you mention that you are Ghanaian. They will always ask you, oh, are you Ashanti? <laughs> but with me, I always say I'm not only Ashanti, but I'm the grandson 